Hello, this is the Moog Little Fatty. This is the purple edition. Now, it comes with the usual audio external in and out, the pitch, filter and volume CV, and the gate plus MIDI in and out and USB. However, it doesn't have CV outs on it. So, what you can do is you can buy a kit and you get the little end cheeks with the holes pre-drilled. Not sure if the wooden ones come pre-drilled or if you have to do that yourself. A nice little sticker to go over there and there's your circuit board along with a few cables to sort of plug it all together. You don't really need a soldering iron to do this. Now, you do need a multimeter and hopefully an oscilloscope to just check up that the pitch and everything is spot on. But uh, anyway, I'm going to open this up and we'll have a look around it and I'm going to try and do this little mod, hopefully with no problems. So, let's get in it. In the kit you get everything to do the job, uh, even the cable ties and the little stick-on cable guides, all the plug-on wires, very nice, so it should be easy. Now that's the right hand end piece with the holes drilled and a metal bit with a piece cut out obviously for this to protrude. But what I've noticed is they also give you a new left hand side and that looks exactly the same as the one that's already on there. If it's different, I'll, I'll find out when I take it apart. But what I do like is the instruction manual is nice and simple. Just a few pages, a little bit of information and pictures. I love instruction manuals with pictures. Anyway, let's have a look inside it. Looks like a gun. There's two types of screws on these. These three here, which go into the metal, are the pointy self-tappers. And these three here are the flat-ended screws, which are machine screws. So it says in the instruction manual to change this first. So we'll take that off. And I've just noticed, by the way, along here, this almost looks wet. So let's see if I can get that in the camera. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I'll clean that off anyway. Maybe it's some sort of residue oil or something. Oh, I don't know. Okay, right. I'll just clean that off. Try and find out what it is. Yeah, so I don't know what this is on here. It's uh, some sort of oil, I guess. Anyway, moving on. So the instructions say that I've got to put the new piece on with the holes first. Uh, okay. Now if you've ever had this problem before of having to put the sticker on something like this and having to get it absolutely spot on, it's very difficult once you've taken off the backing because slightly offset and you're going to have to keep peeling it back up and having a second attempt and a third attempt and it starts to look horrible. However, I've found we just get a couple of, uh, say, AAA batteries, peel the backing off, and drop it down. It can only fall in the correct place. So once you've dropped the sticker down over the batteries, like so, then just use the backing to push it all down. And then, hopefully, when we lift that out, that is in absolutely the correct place and you can't go wrong. Right, I've taken the left hand side off and this is the new one to replace the left hand side one. Uh, I can't see any difference. They're identical. All the writing is exactly the same. They're absolutely the same. Oh well, I'll put the new one on anyway because that's part of the job so Hmm, weird. Right, both side panels are off now and I think this, with a little bit of help from the bottom, should just lift out. Oh hey, let me see what I've got to battle with there. Right, one moment please. 
put a bit of sponge down and then we'll flip it over. Mmm! Still need a little bit more of a wedge. There we go. When this was put together, I think this cable should have been a little bit higher up there because what's happened is it's gotten trapped between the metalwork and this sort of padding here and it's bitten into the padding. Uh, the cable looks okay. It's, it's a bit creased down there but uh, I'm sure that'll be all right. I'll try and redress that when I put it back in. I think it really should be up and out of the way. But as you can see there, it's had quite a bit of pressure, almost pushing against the metalwork. Once you put the side panel on, I've only put the bottom screws in uh, because I want this to be loose. Uh, it just makes it easier to get this in afterwards. Now, when you come to the circuit board here, the CV output, it's easier if you actually attach the cables to that first. So I'll just pop those into place. And now, put it in and put the nuts on and that is what holds it all together. If you use a 15mm socket that's just the right size to tighten them up. And then on the larger of the circuit boards you'll see P10 and P9 and that obviously is where these go. There you go, I've stuck everything down now and I've used this one to hold this in place. I've got to remember to pull this up when I close it off or else it's going to get trapped again. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it on the inside there. Now I'm going to put this panel back and start putting some of the screws in and, well, just check it's all running. Now you have to test and calibrate the CV output board. You put the little fatty into this uh, CA calibration. Now I'm starting off with the gate. A gate should be 0 to 5 volts. So 0 0.012 is nothing really. If I press a key, 5.02. Yeah, that is close enough. So the gate is working. The envelopes are 0 to 5 volts. So the volume envelope on 0, 4.96 volts. It's close enough. And now the filter envelope. Hmm, 2.4 volts. I think that should be 5. There we go. 4.9 volts. Right, now to calibrate the pitch. The bottom E is 0 0.023 so if I go up two octaves that should be exactly two volts higher than what we see here so we're looking for 2.023 so two octaves up 2.029 it's close but you do have a little trimmer so I'm just going to see if I can get that to 2.023. No, going the wrong way. Try the other way. There you go, 2.023. So the bottom E would be 0 0.023. Yep. Two octaves up, exactly two volts more, and the E in the centre should be 1.023. Yep, 
Yes, brilliant. All complete, all calibrated, and now I get to have a little play. It works, it makes a noise, it's very nice, and you just gotta look that love that purple on the back. That is beautiful. Anyway, there you go, another job sorted. Nice quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give us a thumbs up because that helps with the videos. And uh, well, I'll be along with my next video shortly. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>